What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be sharing some Volcarona highlights from my Global Challenge run. Now Volcarona was really the star of the show here, even though this team was built around Metagross. Uh, it's a weird set, I have to admit. It's got Quiver Dance, Struggle Bug, Heat Wave and Protect, Dragon Terra, Leftovers. It's basically a sweeper set, except your only coverage move is Struggle Bug, which will lower both opponents' special attack stat, which comes in really clutch against things like Chiyu Fluttermane, things like Farigraph Trick Room, which are all things that give Chen Pao Dragonite a lot of trouble. Now we've also got Metagross o Ogre Pond, which can help set up with Follow Me, and Raging Bolt in the last slot. But honestly, Volcarona is the only thing on this team I wouldn't touch. It was perfect. Now without further ado, let's show some of these battles. Alright, we are facing a very cool team. Ting Lu, Okie Dogie, Clef Key, Blood Moon Ursa Luna, Ogre Pond, Heart Flame Mask, and Rillaboom. Uh, Clef Key is their Trick Room Setter for the Blood Moon. And it's a prankster. What destroys Clef Key? I guess Volcarona, but I would hate to take a Thunder Wave. Uh, Metagross can break their screens. Metagross is pretty cool. It has a couple problems, being that it's weak to fire and is Terra Water, so the grass types can hit it. So it's not the best bring. I might only need it for the screens. It's not very good elsewise. Uh, Volcarona could take care of Klefki pretty easily. Maybe I do Volcarona Metagross, get rid of Klefki, break the screens, and then go into like Chen Pao Dragonite to sweep. I don't hate that. Uh, I also like Ogre Pond, but this might be better. Raging Bolt isn't that great. Hmm. No, I think I'll leave Ogre Pond behind. It could be pretty good over either Chen Pao or Dragonite, but I think I need both of them just to get the extreme speed damage, because their team's a little bulky. We will see what happens. Ooh, they got a moon in the back. Okay, Okie Dogie and Fire Ogre Pond. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, is this a Metagross Terra? Maybe have to be. Um, but I feel like for this game, I want a Terra Volcarona. Dragon Terra on that might be pretty good. I don't know if they would go for something right now. I might just want a Quiver Dance. I want a Psychic move that Okie Dogie so bad, but it might not be right. I could just swap in Dragonite and Quiver Dance. Ah, I'm just gonna launch Psychic Fangs. I don't know. Oh, they just swap Okie Dogie. Yeah, this definitely wasn't the play then. Into Ting Lu. Well, that'll take the Psychic Fangs really well. I get up the Quiver Dance, I'm faster than their Ogre Pond even before a boost. Interesting. And they just Ivy Cudgel the Metagross. Ow. We hang on. But that's a big ow. It might just be the play now to protect Volcarona and throw a hit with Metagross into that Ogre Pond. I don't know if they would just try to take it out. Metagross isn't very useful anymore anyway. Just want to get it out the way, mostly. Yeah. And they're going for a Terra of their own. Uh, I guess Fire Ogre Pond so that Volcarona can't hurt you as badly. And also to get an attack boost so that you can definitely take out Volcarona. I'm glad I didn't use my Terra yet. I'm gonna protect the Volcarona, keep it safe. 
yeah, it's just an Ivy Cudgel there. I should be faster than Tinglu, so I get some free chip here. Metagross does something! Ah, wow! And then it goes down, okay. That's cool with me. Now, I could go into Dragonite. I could go into Chen Pao and double the Tinglu. I could go into Dragonite and just E-speed their Ogre Pond. Uh, I could go into Chen Pao and Sucker Punch their Ogre Pond. Uh, Dragonite has a better matchup into Tinglu here. Chen Pao would easily get its Sash broke. Now, I kind of have to E-speed the Ogre Pond, but I feel like it's going to protect. It's probably going to protect. I could cover that and do Dragon Terra. Hmm. Yeah, I'll cover it with Dragon Terra. And just start chipping away at Tinglu. I hope this is the right play. This is kind of a mid-ground play. It's never going to be the perfect play. Because if they attack, I should have just E-speeded. If they don't attack, I should never have teared in the first place. But it's a mid-ground play that covers all the odds. They did Spiky Shield. So this isn't a bad play. That Ting Lu takes that really well. Wow. Alright, plus one heat wave. Takes that really well too, that's expected. Oh, a burn! Oh, Ting Lu, you're done. Unless you have, like, Fissure. Okay, the Throat Chop into Volcarona. That wasn't going to do very much anyway. That's pretty cool. Because now what we can do is Extreme Speed into that Ogre Pond. And then finish it off with a Heat Wave. If we even need the Heat Wave. I want a Struggle Bug because it's more accurate, but it'll do basically nothing to Ogre Pond. It'll do the same to Ting Lu's Heat Wave. A little more, even. But... I want a Heat Wave just in case. I don't care if I miss Ting Lu. It's pretty shut down now. I think we're in a really good position now. What do you got? What do you got? That burn is pretty big. But you did also make contact with Volcarona that turn, so there was a pretty high chance that was going to happen anyway. Okay, you get to follow me. You don't want me e-speeding your Tinglu for some reason. Ah, oh, Struggle Bug would have been enough. But I connect both anyway. Excellent. Alright, then your Tinglu must have something important to say. Um... I'm not going to say it out loud. I'm just going to see what they did. Oh, never mind. I don't know why you bothered protecting that. He wants to follow me. Okay, I thought he was gonna fissure my Volcarona. And it felt like it was gonna hit, too. I don't know. Did you get the same vibes? Okay, you have Okie Dogie and one other thing. Ursa Luna. I am fine with seeing Ursa Luna. You already burned your Terra. I'm just gonna struggle bug that takes out Ting Lu. And I guess I just extreme speed. No point in uh, breaking Chen Pao's sash yet. I guess your best play was probably protect and let Ting Lu go down. Then you have two things on the field at the same time. But no, you're just gonna let me do this. Cool. And now that you're at minus one, I don't think Blood Moon gets any KOs. Goodbye, Ting Lu. Miss Blood Moon into Volcarona. And it doesn't get the KO. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Now, Okie Dogie could have uh, that priority move upper hand, but that's not a big deal. Dragonite won't flinch and it resists anyway. I think I just go for. I guess I must go for Heat Wave. 
right? I don't like missing, but Struggle Bug isn't gonna KO or Saluna from here. And just extreme speed into Okie Dogie. Oh yeah, you just protect anyway. He waves the play. So you take this double up, you knock out Volcarona. And then we have Chen Pao Dragonite just to clean up. Yeah, I think we're fine. I'm not worried. He wave connects anyway. Okie Dogie takes it. And how? Um. Um. I don't really get that play. In your leftovers. Yeah, I don't really. I don't really get it. Can someone understand that for me? I don't. I don't know what that accomplishes. But I'm just gonna E-speed and I'm gonna struggle bug and the battle was cancelled. Good game. I think. That was weird. Alright, here we are against Fluttermane, Incineroar, Fire Ogre Pond, Farigarath, Urshifu, and Rillaboom. Those six look really familiar. I might know what they do. Okay, Farigarath is the obvious bring for them, since we have Chen Pao Dragonite. Chen Pao Dragonite actually seems really strong against everything other than the Giraffe. So maybe we focus on taking out the Giraffe first. Uh, Volcarona is pretty decent against all of those, except Urshifu. Uh, I could go Volcarona and Ogre Pond on lead, try to set up and sweep them instantly. Uh, I guess I don't know which Urshifu that is, but it's water, let's be real. We know these six. And... So Ogre Pond's pretty good. Uh, Raging Bolt is also pretty good. Honestly, they got Fire, Water, and Grass types galore. Raging Bolt loves to see that. And then just a Fluttermane. Maybe it's Metagross. Uh, is Chen Pao very good here? We can get rid of Grass. Um, but we're not great against anything else. Dragonite actually seems pretty good here too. Even if Ferrigarath goes down. But it's either Bolt or Dragonite, so Metagross is the last one. Do I bring Bolt or Dragonite? I think Bolt is slightly better. But I'm not 100% on that. Dragonite could be good, but Raging Bolt is a little more flexible. Just not being locked in. Because I would love to Terra Normal E-Speed stuff if Ferrigarath goes down. But that consumes my Terra and locks me into something that can't hit a Fluttermane. Though I guess the fake out immunity would be nice. Alright, who you going with? Just Insin and Overcon. Alright, you're just gonna fake something out. And then you're just gonna Swords Dance or something. That's pretty scary. I think in reaction to that information, I don't double protect. I think I quiver dance and get some momentum going. Maybe with an Ivy Cudgel. It won't do a lot of damage, but it'll do damage. Um, do I want to hit Incin? No, I think I want to just start getting damage on your Ogre Pond. Oh, you don't fake out at all. You let me get my chip. You just Swords Dance up. I'm faster than your Ogre Pond, too. That's a big deal. And we get our Quiver Dance off. So I assume, then, that it's just a Parting Shot. Just canceling out our special attack boost. No, they're going after Ogre Pond. Okay. Ogre Pond was already intimidated. I don't mind this. We get a free Quiver Dance. You can Terrastalize your Ogre Pond to take a Heat Wave, but then you don't take an Ivy Cudgel anymore. So that's a pretty good position. And is that Fluttermane? Oh, that's great! Uh, I think you're the Speed Booster, Terra Grass, Call Mindset. Yeah, you're Speed Booster. So you are faster than my Volcarona, but if you just have Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Calm Mind, I don't care. So I'm gonna throw a Heat Wave. And based on the three they have, I like Terrastalizing Ogre Pond, but I don't like if they have Rillaboom last. The Volcarona can crush Rillaboom last. 
So I think Terrastalizing Ogre Pond is the play. Yeah, I think it is. Don't take much damage from Fluttermane. Um, don't take neutral damage from Fire if they do get a hit off. I know Boosted Ivy Cudge will leave it at minus two. Should be able to cover with Heat Wave to take out that Ogre Pond. They could just protect Ogre Pond and try to get a move off with Flutter, but that's not going to get them much mileage. Okay, they do do that, but we get still get the Heat Wave onto your Flutter main. Who just call mines. Okay, it is exactly what I think it is. That's good to know. So you'll take this Heat Wave pretty well then. You blocked it. And... You did take that really well. Okay. Then now, I still think I'm in a good position. I still click Heat Wave. Incineroar swapping could happen somewhere. Try to get Ogre Pond down even lower. Who's the bigger threat? Honestly, it's still the Ogre Pond. They are at plus two. They are a plus two Ogre Pond. We cannot allow that to go crazy. Fluttermane is getting scary. But Volcarona should be able to outboost it and handle it. Eventually. If it comes to that. Though they can get a lot of free turns with Fake Out. Especially if they have both Incin and Rillaboom. Oh, they swapped the Flutter Main! Okay. Is that Incineroar? No, it's Rillaboom. Okay, you're gonna Terra Fire, you're gonna Grassy Glide. That makes sense. You take out the Ogre Pond. But you sacrifice a lot to pull this off. Okay. Is it really that worth it for you? Volcarona's the threat on my side. Yeah, because you can't stop my heat wave from going off. You'll live it, now that you're a fire type. But still, is that worth it? Personally, I don't think that was worth your trade there. Oh, uh, if you get a dodge here, then maybe. Rillaboom dodges, that'd be a pretty big deal for you. No, we connect both. And Rillaboom does eat, actually. So obviously you have a fake out turn here. We'll just go into Raging Bolt and double protect, most likely. Though you can't protect them both. I could Thunderclap and Heat Wave. There's no reason I can't do that next turn, though. Once you don't have a Fake Out turn left. Because Thunderclap and Heat Wave will stop that Ogre Pond. While also putting pressure on any switch from Rillaboom. Okay, no switches this turn. Good. An instant swap there would have been annoying. Not for Intimidate, just for them to refresh the Fake Out turn. Get his fake out. And they're prioritizing Volcarona. I could have Thunderclapped. And they are also going after Volcarona. Okay. I get it. That makes sense. Heat Wave. Thunderclap. That is the play. Grass you can Grassy Glide to get around it. That will do some damage. Not a ton, though. Worst case scenario, Heat Wave misses the Ogre Pond. We still get the Thunderclap, though. If that doesn't take it, I guess we'd be in trouble. But I'm surprised they let me go for the Thunderclap last turn. I could have just done it. Your Ogre Pond might have been in big trouble. I have a lot of special attack. Yeah, you're taking- take your time. Try to find a way out of this. It's Grassy Glide into Volcarona that does next to nothing. But you dodge the Thunderclap, which is pretty big for you. And then you Grassy Glide the Raging Bolt. I'm faster than your Rillaboom. That's pretty cool. And then we connect both heat rays. Great damage. Okay. You can continue to use your Grassy Glides to get around Thunderclaps. 
You can bring in Fluttermane or Ensign. Neither of them are really going to help you. You're in Heatwave range now. So you kind of have to bring in Incineroar and go for like a fake out Grassy Glide. Yeah, I don't... I'm just going to Thunderbolt with my Raging Bolt. I don't see them... Thunderbolt that, they've got Fluttermane left. I'm going to Thunderbolt that. I think you're going to fake out Volcarona. It is a fake out into Volcarona. Great. Is it also just an Ivy Cudgel into that? Or is it a Grassy Glide somewhere? Or is it a Swords Dance? It's a Swords Dance. Okay. That's a cool play. But I get my Thunderbolts. Big Thunderbolt. Love it. And I should be faster than your Incineroar, so I can now go for a Heat Wave and Thunderbolt the Ensign. Because now I think you protect your Ogre Pond. And plus, if I hit a Heat Wave, it's over. This is a good, this is a good tough match. This is a, against a great team, of course. They've got answers to everything, and they've been playing really well. That Ogre Pond should have been gone a long time ago. Oh, they just go for the Grassy Glide. It doesn't do that much into Volcarona. We connect the Heat Wave, and they're finally gone. Fantastic. And they should be Goggles on Incense, so this Thunderbolt will take them out. No such is very loud. Unless they change the team. Yep, and Thunderbolt takes them out. Alright, that should be GG's. You can go ahead and dodge a Heat Wave or two if you really want. But I've basically got this locked down. Um, what is their win condition? They dodge Heat Wave. How much more healing do we get? Grass is already gone. Okay. Well, that means no healing for them either. Yeah, their win con is they dodge Heat Wave, set up a Calm Mind. We can deny that win con. We can struggle bug them so they never get a boost. We can bring in Metagross, who can take a Shadow Ball from a non-boosted Fluttermane. And Heavy Slam guarantees the KO. And they just cancel. Okay. Good game. Okay, we are fighting Tornadus, Ogre Pond Water, Urshifu, Chiyu Fluttermane, and Glamora. Starting to get sick of these names. Except Glamora, that's interesting. Alright, well, Chiyu Flutter, we have to go Metagross Volcarona. Raging Bolt is super good against everything else, though. And then, in our last slot, who do we want to go with? Do we want to go with Dragonite? Probably not. Ogre Pun could be okay. Chen Pao could also be okay. Um, I would guess it's Urshifu... I couldn't guess. Probably Dark. I'm a little afraid of a Dark Urshifu lead, honestly. I guess Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond's pretty decent in the Dark Urshifu. It's at least faster. It'll probably just Tailwind, though. Hmm. I think it's a Chiyu Flutter main lead. It could be something else, but I think it's a Chiyu Flutter main lead. So we're gonna go with this. This is our Chiyu Fluttermane response. Flutterfish response team. <laughs> okay. Show me Flutterfish. Ogre Pond. And okay, well at least it's Flutter. That's something. What do I do about it though? I guess I could just 
heavy slam. Don't see that coming a mile away though. Oh, this is bold. Heavy slam, Terra Quiver Dance. Oh, that's extremely bold. I like it. This this may be a big mistake, but that's what I'm going with. Cause I don't think they would throw a fairy move anyway. I think they'll throw a water move or they'll follow me and use Shadow Ball. Oh! Oh no! Oh, why? Whoa! Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Oh, I guess they were doubling it to cover for that Terra. They weren't afraid of Metagross. Um, that's a bad trade. They came out ahead on that trade pretty significantly. But at least Fluttermane is down, so Raging Bolt is in a pretty good position. Oh man. Yeah, and it's Chiyu, and we don't have Terra. Ugh. Oh. Okay, well, that's pretty bad. That's really bad. Alright. So what happens now? Chiyu probably locks into Dark Pulse. Knocks out Metagross. Raging Bolt might follow me. No. Raging Bolt might get followed me. Um, we don't know their Ogre Pond, their Ogre Pond speed. We don't know their Chiyu speed. Ogre Pond is decent against Chiyu. I want to get some chip onto... Well, I want to bullet punch their Chiyu just to make sure it doesn't have a Sash for later. And I guess I'll Thunderbolt into Ogre Pond. Get some chip on that. Okay, you no longer can be sashed. And they snarl. Yeah, they're probably Scarf. That was the worst case scenario, was Snarl Chiyu. Man. Oh, no, they're Life Orb. That's not good either. And a crit. Okay. Just, just keep giving, give me a crit. I could use a crit. I'd love a crit. That would have been a knockout if it was a crit. All right, we don't get crits here. And now we wonder who their last is. Wouldn't be Tornadus, it's probably like Dark Urshifu, which is terrible. So I'm gonna Woodhammer and I'm gonna Protect. Is that the right play? I don't really know. Oh, it is the right play. Okay, hang on. Oh no, they just protect with both. They want to see where I'm going with this. Okay. They scouted out my protect on Bolt. That's probably what they were doing. They want to get rid of Bolt. And they can do that by going Follow Me and Dark Pulse. So their play is Follow Me, Dark Pulse. I would hammer their Ogre Pond, that's my only play for that. And I double protect. Because they know I can't protect. Oh, is there a Follow Me? There's no Follow Me play that helps me here. Yeah, here's we go. Oh, we land it. Okay, we're not out. If I get this play call correct, it's follow me. And then I, I'm faster than Chiyu, so then I would hammer. Knock you out. And then show me a dark pulse. Please. Overheat. That's fine. That works. I'm cool with that. You really want Raging Bolt gone that bad, and now you're in trouble. Last one was Urshifu. Which could Sucker Punch Raging Bolt. What's my play then? 
Follow me could give it a sucker punch, but then we would just go down to a wicked blow overheat combo. Ivy Cudgel can knock out Chi Yu. I don't know, this is this is tough. This is real tough. They've got a Terra too. Terra Urshifu. Terra Dart. Does that mean Sucker Punch into Ogre Punch? There's so many plays I had, and there's two Sucker Punch mind games going on. Oh, Sucker Punch was into Bolt. We got that right. But I don't think we win. I don't think that wins the game. They overheat. Ogre Pond is gone. They can just sucker punch all they want now. They've only used one sucker punch. I can never thunderclap them as long as they can sucker punch. All they have to do, their Chiyu is weakened, but I don't think I can outlast seven more Sucker Punches. I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay, that's two Sucker Punches. And they're just gonna throw Snarl, but that can miss. I guess we just do it again. I mean, we gotta, we have to click protect until they run out of Sucker Punch. That's the play I'm committing to. They'll probably win. Snarl connects, but it doesn't knock out yet. We're actually gonna get this protect. This snarls nothing. Come on. We do another one. They still have Sucker Punch. Alright, we failed this one. We have to dodge a snarl. It is Sucker Punch. They could be. No, if they're Choice Band, we could Thunderclap them. But they hit the snarl and it's game over. Okay, we're fighting Water Ogre Pond, Raging Bolt, Incineroar, Okie Doge, Landorus Incarnate, and Fluttermane. That team looks very extreme speedable. Very extreme speedable. We just gotta get rid of Fluttermane first. Um, would a Volcarona back end be good? Maybe. Would Volcarona front end be good? Maybe. If they want to go for a Fluttermane lead, Volcarona would be the lead. Chen Pao Dragonite in the back? That seems pretty solid. Volcarona, Ogre Pond, Chen Pao Dragonite? That seems like the play. Now, what's their best answer to Volcarona Ogre Pond? Their own Ogre Pond would just get water moves redirected. Landorus is slower than Ogre Pond. Landorus Ogre Pond would be annoying. Because Landorus can do big damage move before Volcarona, and Ogre Pond can't handle it because its water move would get redirected. That's the thing I'm most afraid of. Okie Dogie is also a little scary, just because it hurts Ogre Pond pretty well. But an Ivy Cudgel and a Heat Wave will do some damage to it. Might have to Terra Ogre Pond if I see Okie Dogie and something scary next to it. Hoping it's just Fluttermane and it's just Incineroar Landorus. Okay. Are you a substitute Landorus? Is that what's happening here? Ooh, what do I want to do? Could 
Because I could double protect, but I think that's what they want. They probably have sub or something on there. I guess I can risk Volcarona. Yeah, I'm gonna risk the Volcarona here. It wouldn't be the biggest problem in the world. And good, I get the fake out call correct. That's excellent. Now, what do you have, Landorus? Oh, you were just going for a Sandseer Storm? Oh, I was worried about nothing. I could have double protected. That does decent damage into Volcarona, but the next one won't. You're about to be much weaker. You are no longer safe from Ogre Pond either. So I'm gonna struggle bug. I'm gonna assume your Landorus is scared. Maybe I do terrestrialize the Ogre Pond. Really punish whatever happens in this slot. Yeah, I think I think I wanna turn up the tempo. I know I should save it for Dragonite, but I think turning up the tempo here would be great. Is this a swap and a protect? It's a swap into Ogre Pond, no! Oh, you had to swap Ogre Pond into that slot. At least I'll get some good struggle bug damage off, but then, but then, I heal them right back up. I guess if I had slowed down, I could have seen that that play was possible. Oh, but they're terrestrializing. Okay, so they're gonna let me get the struggle bug into Landorus. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I thought they were just gonna protect. How much does this do to Overcon? Oh, a ton! Actually, even after the healing, you might go down to the next one. Plus, you don't have Terra left. Yeah. Okay, this play isn't that bad then. We did about 70%. They're at about high 60s. Oh, and Volcarona died this time. Wouldn't have knocked out Volcarona anyway. A lot has happened since the last one. But that's pretty cool. So now we struggle bug. And we... I guess I Ivy Cudgel this anyway. They could use Follow Me, but then they'd be so weak, I don't even care. Yeah, they don't even go for the Follow Me. They don't die either, though. So our sweep is over. Assuming they were bold enough to go for a water move when I could just redirect it. Landris doesn't die either. Oh, they just Horn Leap. I'm fine with that. I'd rather see that. Volcarona is not done sweeping. Presumably now you earth power, but the Sandseer Storm did about half, and now you're at minus two and I'm at plus one. Sludge Bomb, sa same difference. Yeah, that did no damage. Fantastic. Landorus is shutted down. Now I want to hit stuff with Chen Pao. Bring in the kitty! Now are they gonna bring in Incineroar? Maybe. Am I just gonna go for Struggle Bug and Sacred Sword? Probably. Is that- did I catch the kitty? Did I catch your kitty with my kitty? I did. That's so cool. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yep, you just try to break my sash with that. I'm not hitting you. It's okay. You're in struggle bug range. Now we can just protect Volcarona and break Dragonite. 
or even protect our cat if we want. That struggle bug's doing decent damage. It's not gonna knock it out from there. And they have a berry. Okay. We don't know your last. We've got three things down to E-speed range, which is a super good position. I just protect, and I... Do I also just protect Chen Pao? I could bring in Dragonite fairly safely. No, I won't. Protect Volcarona. Protect Chen Pao. I think preserving Dragonite's health can be pretty important for the late game. I'm not gonna risk Chen Pao's sash, though. If it comes down to that. They just fake out into Volcarona. And they Ivy Cudgel into Volcarona. Oh, Dragonite could have been a perfectly safe play then. But now this, this way I put on a ton of pressure. Struggle Bug knocks out Ogre Pond. Sacred Sword finishes that off. Landorus can't switch in safely. All you can do is show me your fourth. Show me your fourth. So this is probably just a sack of Landorus. Yeah. They want to get unknown thing. Oh! They got the Protect. That's probably worse for you. You probably want to bring in Fluttermane next to Incineroar. That would probably have been a lot better for you. Assuming Fluttermane is your last, but it might not be. I think it could be though, because what we've had out so far- Oh no, that breaks our Sash! Oh, dang! Okay, then I guess that was a good way to go. You got the double protect that breaks our sash because you sacked something to the struggle bug. I wonder if you were doing that on purpose. It's just Incineroar again. Now I protect and bring in Dragonite. All that progress you made on my Chen Pao's attack stat is going away in an instant. And you assume I'm going to double protect. Probably. So I don't know exactly what you're going to do here. That makes sense. I don't know how that's really any better for you, though. I guess that's the same as just bringing in Fluttermane, except Chen Pao is also now at one less attack stat. So that would have been fine, I guess. But we struggle bug. And we... Ogre Pond would go down to struggle bug. Minus one Fluttermane would have to commit, like, a moon blast to maybe take out Dragonite. They've already Terrid. I don't have multi-scale or anything, but... Yeah, then I just Aerial Ace into their Fluttermane. They get the spiky shield. They keep doing that. That's fine. But it doesn't really change the fact that Volcarona is the win con. Now, do you have Power Gem? Power Gem Fluttermane would be pretty huge. They have Icy Wind. That doesn't knock out Dragonite, and you're probably going to lose Fluttermane now. But you're faster than Volcarona with your Ogre Pond, which is pretty big for you. Yeah, that's kind of huge for you. Yeah, that's enormous. But what we can do... Yeah, they go for another Icy Wind. Knock out Dragonite, probably. 
Now, do they read this and go after the Dragonite? They don't. Okay. Well, then you lose your Ogre Pond. But you get a fake out turn into Volcarona. You could fake out Dragonite. Are you locked into Icy Wind? That's my question. If you're locked into Icy Wind, that's a problem for you. Um, they could Icy Wind and Flare Blitz with Incineroar. Volcarona has a special defense boost. Oh, that might be- this might be trouble. Icy Wind plus a Flare Blitz? I don't know. I don't know. This might this might be trouble. They might have found a win condition through this. They icy wind again. Maybe they are locked into that. Oh, well, we get the heat wave before they go anyway. Okay, you still weren't fast enough. Phew. Knockoff doesn't even knock out Volcarona. Okay. Wow. Good game. Put some more speed on that instant and you would have had it. Wow. Good game. Good game. Alright, we've got a match against Heatran. I've never seen that at all yet. Okay, Heatran, Tornadus, Fluttermane, Urshifu, Water Ogre Pond, and Farigarath. Heatran? I have not seen Heatran in this global challenge yet. This is cool. It completely shuts down Volcarona. Which is bad. Because I want to bring Volcarona. Chen Pao Dragonite can't handle Farigarath. Wow, Heatran's a great matchup against me. That is so cool. Alright, are they going to be the normal Terra Grass set? Can Chen Pao Dragonite just handle them anyway? Just don't click priority moves? I don't know. Do I want to bring Volcarona? Wow. I guess Volcarona Ogre Pond isn't the worst. If we can force a Terra out of them. They'll still be immune to Heat Wave, but then Struggle Bug will hit them if they're grass. Hmm. And then... Metagross seems okay. Dragonite seems pretty good on its own. Maybe even without Chen Pao? Because Chen Pao doesn't seem that great here. And then I think I will do Metagross last. Bolt could be good too. There's a few good Thunderbolt targets. But... I guess I'm a little worried about Fluttermane. Maybe I'm too worried about Fluttermane. I don't think this will be a Volcarona sweep. Uh, I think they will bring Heatran. And Ogre Pond is a good bring because it'll trick the Heatran in Terrain. Which would be great. Yeah, it is Heatran and Fluttermane. Alright, Volcarona, you are support. Alright, what do you got on the Fluttermane? No booster energy. Probably a choice spec set then. Do I want to burn Terra right away? I don't want to take too much damage. I could just Spiky Shield and Struggle Bug. But I wouldn't like to get Shadow Balled on the Volcarona. But I think that's okay. Is it better to Quiver Dance first? I'm just gonna Struggle Bug. Oh, and they do burn Terra immediately. That's cool. They burn Terra on the Heatran. It's 
fairy. Okay. That's not ideal, but it's manageable. You still wall my Volcarona. But I can still do pretty big damage with Ivy Cudgel into you. And it's just a Dazzling Gleam. That's great to see. Volcarona will take that pretty nicely. Oh, very nicely. Are you not Specs? I assumed you were Specs. And we get the special attack drop on both. Good. And it's just a heat wave from the Heatran. Curious what your item is. Life Orb. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I can tell from that damage. That's a Life Orb hit. Okay. I got it. Alright, you're both reduced though, so Ogre Pond is in pretty good position to start punching things. Your swap into an Ivy Cudgel is your own Ogre Pond. Which isn't going to appreciate a hit from Volcarona anyway. And maybe I just Quiver Dance now. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Because they're both at minus one, my Ogre Pond's going to go to plus one. So it's not particularly afraid of anything they're doing. Plus I can be faster than them next turn. Faster than the Fluttermane, I mean. If I need to reduce it even further. And if they let me just keep getting drops on their Fluttermane and leaving it in like this, I'm happy with that. No problem. Okay, yeah, they aren't spec. I didn't think so. Minus one Shadow Ball does a bit too much, honestly. That's more damage than I was hoping for. Good damage onto Heatran with Ivy Cudgel. We get the Quiver Dance. So now we're at plus one, and you're at minus one. Are you just Heat Waving again? It is Heat Wave, which Volcarona eats. Good. Good, good, good. That's very good. I am happy to eat that. Now I can... I guess I protect Volcarona and knock out the Fluttermane. They could just protect their Heatran. I don't think they would protect Fluttermane. I mean, is this obvious? Maybe. Is it fine? I think so. They could have priority in the back that we can redirect if we want to keep sweeping with Volcarona. Oh good, it's just a Shadow Ball. Nice. Bye Fluttermane. I assume this knocks you out. I'm jolly with like 124 attack. Yeah, you're gone. Good. Knocking out a Fluttermane is always a good thing. And then it's just a Heat Wave. Okay. You're just gonna take more and more Life Orb, Chip. Fine by me. You might be in Struggle Bug range now, honestly. Now that I'm at plus one, I think I'll throw it. It's only half. It's no longer a quarter. What do you got? What do you got? Dark Urshifu. All right. Kind of have to follow me to get around Sucker Punch. Yeah, I think follow me Struggle Bug is fine. I don't like that I might take a Wicked Blow on Ogre Pond for that. Because we've already taken Chip. We'll go down to a Wicked Blow most likely. And they just protect their Heatran. Good play. You're only going to get one more attack with that Heatran ever. And you're at minus one. I don't think you're... I don't know if that- Oh, it's just Sucker Punch! Yes! Oh, that's great. I don't think Struggle Bug does half to Urshifu, but this is great. Yeah, about a third to Urshifu. That's awesome. We've got you in a real bad position now. Cause sure, you could get the Wicked Blow play correct this time, but then you're gonna be in extreme speed range. Yes, love it. Love it, love it, love it. 
I I am a huge lover of this struggle bug. Oh, they get the double on Heatran. Interesting. I'm a huge fan of the Quiver Dance struggle bug Volcarona. I, I thought it might be weird, but it has been proving to be so cool. Another sucker punch? Are you choiced or something? Well, now I do it a third time and you both go down. Yeah, you just got yourself in a real bad position now. Okay, Volcarona. I did not think you were going to sweep a Heatran team, but here we are. I mean, I guess they're not out of it. What can they do? Oh, not much. Not much, considering how much we still have in the back, too. Oh uh, yeah, they just see that and cancel. Good game. Good game, Volcarona. Alright, okay, we've got a Dondozo, but no Tatsugiri. Okay. Dondozo, Glamora, Fluttermane, Raging Bolt, and Farigarath, Blood Moon. Alright, well, that's a lot of special attackers, so I definitely want Volcarona. But Volcarona, what is it scared of? It's scared of Dondozo, and it's scared of Glamora. What do I have that can take care of both of those? I have Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond takes care of those pretty well with a water or a grass move. Um, Volcarona could also handle Dondozo with a Dragon Terra. That would make us a little weak to the other stuff, though. Ogre Pond also gives us redirection, though, so we could just set up with Volcarona here if they don't go the Trick Room mode. If they go Trick Room mode, I'm going to want a Struggle Bug immediately. Um, they don't have anything that helps for a graph set up Trick Room, though. Uh, my biggest concern is Fissure from Dozo. I get the feeling that's going to be a thing. Uh, I want another answer to Don Dozo, and another answer to Blood Moon, so I think... Hmm... The Priority Mons don't seem that great just because they could save Farigaraf. I think I'll go Bolt and Metagross in the back. Just leave Pow Knight behind this time. Not any big targets for Extreme Speed, and Chen Pao seems alright, but not amazing. Chen Pao would have a hard time breaking Don Dozo. Um, Glamora's Toxic Spikes might be able to break our Sash. I think I picked the right four. I don't know how this is going to go, but I think I have the right mods for the job. Fluttermane and Raging Bolt. Okay. And it's a booster energy on Bolt. All right. That means you're not booster on Fluttermane, which means I might be okay to set up a Quiver Dance. Should I follow me? Should I Terra? I could just Terra and Ivy Cudgel right into their Fluttermane. I don't really want to swap in anything. Uh, definitely Quiver Dance without Terra on Volcarona. The question is what to do with Ogre Pond. I could Spiky Shield. I'm not particularly threatened. I'm gonna Spiky Shield. If they have Power Gem, they throw it here and I lose the game instantly. I don't know why I thought. That's that's a really random, rare thing. I don't think they'll have it. Okay, they go Shadow Ball. Are they gonna double into Volcarona? Because that could be pretty scary. They don't get the special defense drop, though. And we get our... Quiver Dance off. And they do double the Volk. Ow. That does a lot of damage. But we are okay. Ouch. Alright, how do I want to go at this now? I could Struggle Bug and follow me with Ogre Pond. Um... I don't think Raging Bolt has any possible spread moves. If they're not specs on Fluttermane, they could go for a Dazzling Gleam. I don't think that takes Volcarona from here, though. Yeah, I'm going to try to play this slow. Protect Volcarona. I should have just used Follow Me or something. Okay, they're Terrastalizing. And it's the Fluttermane into fairy. 
Um, is this gonna be a Dazzling Gleam then? Maybe they weren't Choice. Because I assume Choice Specs, but then the Shadow Ball didn't do very much damage. But you're gonna be at minus one anyway. Good damage on Bolt too, wow. Oh, that was a crit, good. I'll take that. Weaken up both of you. And yeah, they are not Specs. I'm pretty sure we take this. We do. Oh, very comfortably. And just a Thunderbolt. Oh, and you get a crit back. Yours was a lot more important, too. Oh, man. Okay. Alright. Alright, that's fine. Um, we could go into our own Raging Bolt. We could go into Metagross. I think Metagross is cool. It would threaten... Yeah, Metagross threatens Fluttermane with a bullet punch, so they're going to want to retreat or protect with that slot. Which gives me some free leftovers tick on Volcarona. Ooh, I could Quiver Dance. Quiver Dance is a little risky, because they're going to want to Thunderclap Volcarona. I don't know, I'll just protect, play it safe. Volcarona is the win, Kana. I need to protect it. I can't be risking it. And they just swap Raging Bolt, actually. Okay. Into... Farigarath. Oh, yeah, they're blocking the bullet punch. I get it. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Ooh, and they do Shadow Ball into Metagross. And we can take two of those. Excellent. Unless this is a Rocky Helmet. It is not a Rocky Helmet. Beautiful. Then I feel pretty safe struggle bugging again. As much as I feel like I should be heavy slamming here, I should be heavy slamming Fluttermane, but I feel like it's such not a threat that I actually want to attack for Rigorath. And this combo might take out for Rigorath. Oh yeah, this combo should take out that for Rigorath. Excellent. Uh, unless you're like Figgy Berry. Citrus Berry, I think you're still in range. Alright, what is it? And are you still in range? Depends on your defense investment. Max defense we do significantly under path. We take that even more comfortably. And Heavy Slam doesn't take it. Ah, Lots of defense investment there. Alright. That's mostly cool though. I don't think you can actually take out Metagross. And so Metagross is now a big threat for you. Uh, 40 HP on Assault Vest Metagross? I don't, yeah, I don't think you're taking that out. In which case, I could just protect or I could take out Farigarath. It's probably better for me to not take out Farigarath. Don't give them any momentum. Yeah, because they probably got Blood Moon in the back, uh, which is actually pretty scary. This game is certainly not over. Not by any means. And Psychic Noise. Ah, oh, they want to block my Leftovers recovery. I get it. Cool. Cool play. Fluttermane is finally gone. You have Raging Bolt and I believe Blood Moon. Those should be your last two. Can I take a helping handed Blood Moon on my Volcarona here? Not a chance. No. Um. So what do I do about that? They can't Terra their Blood Moon. So I'm never going to be able to thunderclap it, even if I get rid of the giraffe. That's a pretty rough position to be in. Oh, I don't like this. Uh, three turns of Trick Room left. A swap. Protect. Oh, I might have to get up, give up the Quiver Dance. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I have to do. Give up the Quiver Dance, and just Psychic Fangs into their bear. 
So then if Raging Bolt survives the turn, I have a Protect turn. And I should be able to get out of Trick Room. If they go after Metagross, I'm in more trouble. Or if they just Oko Raging Bolt here, I'm in a lot of trouble. It is a Helping Hand. Is it Helping Hand Hyper Voice? Is it Helping Hand Blood Moon? It's Hyper Voice. Uh, Metagross goes down. That's not great. In fact, that's about as bad as it gets. Okay. A double protect on Volcarona probably isn't even enough. Yeah, two turns of Trick Room. I'm gonna play it out, but there's not much I can do. Neither of my Terras really saved me from a Hyper Voice. They're just gonna Helping Hand, and they're just gonna Hyper Voice. Um, I have two chances to get out of Trick Room. Because both of these Double Protects have a chance of landing. So I have a decent chance. That's two-thirds squared. Minus one. There's some math on that, but I don't know if one of these Pokemon can do it. If I get both Double Protects, which is a third of a third, which is more than 10%, and I've missed a Draco to lose a game before, so that could happen. I think that's what I have to do. There's no reason for them not to click the same button. Last turn of Trick Room. I should be if I get the double on both, I should win. That shouldn't happen, though. They should have this pretty solidly. But this is my play. This is what I have to go for. I have a chance if I can get this. Give me the first one. Okay, I don't get the first one. Volcarona's more important, but I don't think I can win with just Volcarona. All right, well, I get to keep Volcarona. Maybe you get a super low roll on Hyper Voice and Raging Bolt sticks around. You do not. That would have had to be a really low roll too. All right, any chance Volcarona can seal this game. My only play is to Struggle Bug. I have no other play. Heat Wave isn't going to take out the Blood Moon. Quiver Dance isn't going to help me as much as Struggle Bug would, because they can just put Trick Room back up. And they're just attacking. I think a minus one Blood Moon here is what they go for, and I think that takes us out. I'm in this a lot further than I should be, though. It's, it is Blood Moon. And we go down. Okay. Good game. That was a good game. Alright, here we've got a Tornadus, Chiyu Fluttermane, Ogre Pond Wellspring, Raging Bolt, and one of the Urshifus. Ugh, oh, it's Chiyu Fluttermane. Well, Chiyu Fluttermane. Uh, Chen Pao Dragonite doesn't work if they have Ghost Chiyu. Though, no, Fluttermane is the problem. So we want to do Volcarona. We could also do, ooh, we could do Metagross Chen Pao lead. Because Metagross Chen Pao, that bullet punch can take Fluttermane. Yeah, that seems pretty cool. Uh, maybe Volcarona in the back as a backup? No, they could have up to two water types. I like Raging Bolt a lot, though. They're going to get speed control, so I want some of that priority. And then, uh, I don't know if it would be Water Urshifu, because they have Water Ogre Pond. Dragonite could wall their Water Ogre Pond, but so can Raging Bolt. Uh, Volcarona feels better if they do a late game Chiyu Flutter. It's also, uh, who's best into their Raging Bolt? I guess that would be Volcarona. Struggle Bugs? Yeah, I think it's Volcarona. Um, what am I weak to? I guess I'm a little weak to their... If it is Water Urshifu, I'm a little weak to that. I don't think it will be that. But if it is, I should have brought Dragonite. Or Ogre Pond. Either one of those would be good. Okay. Let's do it. It's Chiyu and Fluttermane right off the bat. 
That's cool. Uh, they are Scarf on their Chihu. Because theirs went first. That's scary. So. Would they Terra Ghost their Chihu? I don't know. Would they expect a Bullet Punch? Yes. Uh, I might not want a Bullet Punch at all then. I might just Terra Water. Stomping? If they Terra, I can Sucker Punch the next turn. If they don't, they go down to Stomping. I'm gonna predict the Fluttermane to run scared. It does. Yes! Yes. That's excellent. We scared off the Fluttermane successfully. And into Ogre Pond. Cool. Uh, they do Terrastalize the Chiyu. Okay. Oh, but now they can redirect the Sucker Punch. Oh, I could have Sucker Punched this turn. No! Okay. Alright, you got me. Uh, I assume you're just going for a fire move, though, which is fine. I can, uh, Metagross can take that. I can bring in Raging Bolt. Uh, we are now weak to Grass on the Metagross, so I may have to watch out for that. Protect my Chen Pao. I assume you go for a Heat Wave. I had two fire weaknesses, yeah. And this shouldn't do too much. I would like to dodge, but didn't do too much. And Stomping Tantrum will do about half. Whoa, a little more than half. Okay. Now, presumably you'll follow me so I can't Sucker Punch. So my best move would just be to Psychic Bangs, but I'm still going to do that into Chiyu. It's not really any good switching except for Dark Urshifu. And just bring in Raging Bolt on the other side. It can take a heat wave. Yeah, this will work. Oh, uh, Chiyu does swap. Oh, what? Was it Dershifu the whole time? No, that's just Fluttermane again. Okay. Uh, did you even follow me? I don't think you would follow me then. I considered a heavy slam into that Chiyu, but I didn't want to get that redirected. Psychic Fangs will do a lot to a Fluttermane. And they do Horn Leech the Metagross! Ow! Ooh. That did a lot of damage. But we are okay. Follow Me Dazzling Gleam is so free for them right now. Too free. I'm gonna go into Volcarona and probably protect my Bolt. Yeah, I think I'll protect Bolt here. They're probably choice specs. I didn't. I don't remember the if they had a booster on turn one. I don't think they did. So I'm assuming they're choice specs. Raging Bolt does not want to take a choice spec dazzling gleam. Volcarona could be okay with it. Okay, and it's follow me. And just dazzlingly. Okay. Alright, my plan now may seem a little crazy. It might be a little crazy. I want a Thunderclap Quiver Dance. I Thunderclap the Fluttermane, and that either deletes Fluttermane or gets redirected. If it gets redirected, they're not attacking Volcarona. Though if they swap out Fluttermane, we're in trouble. Hmm. I think that's what I want to do. It's re it's really, really what I want to do. If we get rid of Flut Fluttermane, we don't need Volcarona. That's what I'm thinking. They do follow me. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. We get our redirected Thunderclap. That's okay. But we get our Quiver Dance off. And Raging Bolt actually hangs on for another turn. That's pretty cool, too. That's really great, because now if you want to go for a Terra Ogre Pond to take a Heat Wave, you're going to also take a Thunderclap. 
I mean, you could just Terra redirect, but then you're not stopping Heat Wave. All right. All right, Volcarona. Show them the star that you can be. It's just follow me, no Terra. So Thunderclap does nothing. But Heat Wave, Heat Wave should do a lot. Next on both, half damage on Ogre Pond. Okay. That's great. But because our Volcarona is boosted, I don't think Chi Yu is going to take it out. It could be faster than our Volcarona. In fact, I would expect it to be. You'd have to be a really slow Scarf Chi Yu to be slower than this Volcarona. I'm only one point faster than a Chen Pao right now. Or. 138, uh, maybe a couple points faster than a Chen Pao. And it's Water Shifu. No, it's Dark Shifu. Oh. Okay. I don't think Sucker Punch would knock out Volcarona, would it? You already used your Terra. I think I just Heat Wave. And. Thunderclap something? They've been real, trying real hard to avoid that thunderclap. But I think I'll do it. My worst case scenario would be they Terra Water Ogre Pond. And... Okay, they just Spiky Shield. They Sucker Punch the Bolt. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Free Heat Waves. Free Heat Waves. Ogre Pond blocks the Heat Wave. On Urshifu and do a ton of damage and get a burn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Volcarona spreading the burns. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. All right. Urshifu is no longer a threat. You can sucker punch. That's okay. I don't care. I guess Metagross would go down to a sucker punch. And their last is Chiyu, so yeah, I'll save Metagross. Yeah. Oh, this whole time I'm talking about Ogre Pond being able to terrestrialize. They already did it on Chi Yu. Oh. So they are both in Heat Wave range. Or rather, Struggle Bug might be better. A little more consistent. I would like to Sucker Punch. That way they can't Sucker Punch me. And Ogre Pond will go down to this combo if they attack. And if they protect or follow me, I don't care. Yeah, I think that's the plan. They just spiky shield. Didn't they already do that? Okay. You want to get a sucker punch on my uh, Volcarona? No, you want to break Chen Pao's sash. All right, I'm glad I went for sucker punch. And we just struggle our bugs. Goodbye. Now, I wish that I could Sucker Punch the Chi Yu, but I cannot. So I will probably just Struggle Bug and Protect? I mean, I have a whole Sash to work with. I might as well use it. This would be the time to use it. Just throw out a Heat Wave and an Ice Spinner. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. They follow me. They go for a flinch with Dark Pulse? Nope, they just Heat Wave. Fine. Volcarona should go first, take out both of you, and then we Ice Spinner into nothing. Good job, Volcarona. Not missing those Heat Waves. Great sweep. Great sweep. Good game. Okay, we are fighting a Fluttermane, Amoongus, Urshifu, Incineroar, Landorus Eye, and Raging Bolt team. Lots of good stuff over there. Amoongus is a little annoying. Is this a Dragonite Chen Pao game? Is this a Volcarona game? Presumably that's Water Urshifu. 
hateful. I honestly, I don't hate Ogre Pond Volcarona on lead here. Um, would Chen Pao Metagross be good? Not really. It's okay against Landorus, honestly. But I like having Protect on both of my lead mods here. I don't think Metagross is the play. Not on lead. Uh, Chen Pao actually is pretty good. Honestly, I don't hate Chen Pao at all. Dragonite, a little iffy. Uh, is Raging Bolt the play? Not with an Amoongus. Either Metagross or Dragonite. I think Dragonite does a little bit better. I'm gonna go with Dragonite. I think Dragonite is slightly better here than Metagross. We will have to get rid of the Fluttermane in order for Dragonite to just start e-speeding stuff. So maybe we can preserve Terra for that and just do Chen Pao Dragonite. Chen Pao Dragonite does good stuff. Okay. It is Water Urshifu and Flutterman. All right. I get it. That happens. Photosynthesis boosts your... It's always speed. They're just all speed nowadays. Yeah, well, I don't really have much to do other than follow me. And you are speed boosted. I could... Maybe just wood hammer. I think they're probably going to swap out anyway. Or U-turn. I'm going to follow me. Quiver Dance. I think that's my play. They stayed in, so they probably are Scarf U-turn. Oh, they taunt the follow me. Okay. And they are U-turn. Got it. Okay. Maybe that taunt was going at Volcarona. I've seen a lot more taunt flutter mains these days. That's picked up really, really big. And it is Amoongus. Oh, I like to see Amoongus. I'm quiver dancing. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And like I said, I want to get rid of Fluttermane, so I am going to Ivy Cudgel, and I am going to Heat Wave. And you're not going to have a Fluttermane. You might still have an Amoongus if you Terra it, or live a Heat Wave, or dodge a Heat Wave. Yeah, they're going to Terra it. Okay. That's fine. Terra Water, yep, normal. So they're gonna spore my Volcarona and lose their Fluttermane. They're gonna taunt my Volcarona too. Oh, it's gonna be taunted and spored? Is that what you're going with? And Ivy Cudgel. Nice. Goodbye. And it must be a spore. I guess it could be a Pollen Puff. Oh, it's a Sludge Bomb. Honestly, I'd rather see that. Okay. Now we gotta go Dragonite. Pretty much have to go Dragonite here. They're gonna send in Urshifu. And we can just... Terrastalize. And... Outrage, honestly. Just don't Terra and Outrage? Yeah, and just Terrastalize this guy. And... Can't Quiver Dance. Heat Wave, I guess. Best damage output. Here we go. We're just gonna start clicking the big button attacks. See what happens. Oh, we are actually faster than the Urshifu. Despite it. Oh, and we get the burn on that? Oh, you're not gonna do any damage. You're gonna U turn out. Okay. Yeah, get out of here. I'd rather outrage something else. I don't wanna outrage you. You're not doing nothing. Show me a Raging Bolt or something. That'd be funny. Landorus. I'd like to do that. But I have Chen Pao in the back. Hit Amoongus. 
Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I like that. That's awesome. Okay. Good job, Dragonite. Flipping a coin and landing correctly. Yeah, sorry, Urshifu. I mean, things like that happen. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I'm locked into Outrage, of course. So I just... I have Chen Pao in the back, so I just need to knock out Urshifu. Best damage is Heat Wave. I, I can't ris risk the Chen Pao, so I just stay in. Yeah, that's not going to do any damage. Yeah, none whatsoever. Maybe I should have struggle bugged just to weaken Landorus, since it will hit before Dragonite. Yeah, that's probably what I should have done. Maybe Heat Wave will be a two-shot, though. It is. So maybe I just hit Urshifu here. Power. It doesn't even take out Volcarona, it didn't matter. Outrage into Urshifu. Very nice. Very nice. That should be a sweep. Good job, Volcarona. Not even taunted anymore. And I'm still locked into Outrage, so... Dodge the Heat Wave, hit the Dragon... Yep, goodbye. <laughs> No win condition for you. All right, and we're back with the rental code. You made it. If you've been watching it this far, you probably liked it. So why don't you give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see me play more with this team and with some other teams. I promise this isn't the only team I play. In fact, if there's a team you want to see me play, shoot me a note in the comment and I'll see if I can give it a shot. But anyway, I'm Jordy and uh, all right, peace.